Hello. Today we are going to give you an overview of the Benjamin Moore Color Suite for Revit. We're excited to show you how it works and what makes it such a unique tool. This tool creates countless opportunities when it comes to selecting and applying colors to your projects. Let's get started. First, to download the application, go to your web browser and type in seek.autodesk.com forward slash Benjamin Moore. From here, you can download and install the tool to your computer from any of the product detail pages. The product is the same on all of these pages. After installing the add-in and launching Revit, you will see a new ribbon tab labeled Benjamin Moore on top. Let's start using this tool for this corporate office model, which is in need of some lively colors. Click on the Benjamin Moore tab on top. You will then see a Benjamin Moore icon appear on the upper left hand corner. Click on the icon and a Benjamin Moore window will pop up. Once the window opens, you will be prompted to select a location. As we can see here, we have the options to choose from California, Canada, and the United States. Since this project is in the US, I'm going to select United States. Now that we have our region selected, we can begin to select products. By using filters and performance characteristics in the attributes section, we can filter by use, substrate, and sheen. We're going to start adding color to the interior walls first, so let's pick interior for use. Then we can select our substrate, which for this model would be drywall. For our sheen, I'm not quite sure what sheen we should use, so in the meantime, let's select multiple ones and see which we like best as we work on our project. For this one, I'm going to select eggshell, low sheen, and matte. Now that we have the products filtered, we can see a sorted list of products that are more aligned to what we're looking for. Since this is a sizable project, I want to go into even more detail on how to select my paint color. By setting performance and environmental characteristics, I can further enhance my list of products. For this project, I want products that have CHPS and LEED V4 certification, so I'll go ahead and select those options. Now that we have all the details input, we can select a product. Let's go with Aura Eggshell and see what colors are available. By clicking Continue, we are taken to this colorful palette where we can browse and select colors. We have the option of filtering our colors by collection and family on the left hand side of the window. Above our color palette, there is a slider for the light reflectance value, also known as the LRV slider. By selecting the minimum and maximum ranges, you can further filter your colors to best suit your project. As you scroll your mouse over the grid of colors, you will see windows that pop up that give you the color name, LRV value, and if a primer is recommended. Now let's select the colors. I want to give the office some bold colors, so let's select Avalon Teal CSP645 from the Color Stories collection, Graphite 1603 from the Classics collection, and to balance it out, Stormy Monday 2112-50 from the Color Preview collection. Once I select the colors, I can see them all in the bottom left hand corner. I'm not completely sure if graphite goes as well with this palette, so I'm going to remove it by simply clicking X and replace it with Chantilly Lace OC65 from the Off-White collection. Let's add some other ones and see how things turn out. My next step is selecting where in the model we want to add these colors. I want to start with some of the individual offices, so I'm going to select Avalon Teal, Stormy Monday and Chantilly Lace for that area. I click on Add to Project, which allows me to tag it by location within the model. Let's create the location office and click on Add Colors to Project Schedule and Revit Model. Now let's go through the same process for selecting colors for the lobby. Now that we have our location set, let's move on to our project schedule to view in more detail the colors we've selected. To the right of the product selector, you will see Project Schedule as a new window opens up. We can see on our left the locations we previously created are all there. By clicking on the location, it will automatically filter the colors for you. Now I want to focus on the colors for the corporate lobby. Let's tag the colors for that area. Tagging will allow us to know what's assigned to the trim, accent, and wall. Since we want to do the corporate lobby, let's filter it by that location first. In the last column, we can begin to assign our location tags. Let's make Chantilly Lace Trim, 
HC44 Linux Tan from the Historic Collection are wall color, and the bold Mysterious AF565 from the Affinity Collection are accent color. Now that we have generated our tags, we are ready to create our specs. Click on your selected colors, then click Spec Output. You will be prompted to save the spec in a specific location, where you can then save it as a text file. After selecting the destination for your file, the spec file will be generated for use. Now that we are finished setting up the colors, we can then save them for favorites for other projects. Select the colors from your current project and then click Add to Favorites. Here you have the capability again to create a group or add it to a previous one. Let's call this one ABC Corp Colors. You will then see on top in the Favorites tab, your colors have been added. Now that we have made all of our product and color selections, it's time to apply the colors in my model. Let's find one of the offices. This one will work. Behind the scenes, when we were adding colors to our project, the Color Suite add-in was also adding them to our Revit model as Revit materials. In order to apply our selected colors in our model, we use the Revit Paint tool and select the paint materials that are now available. Finally, let's check out what our new office looks like in a rendering. Thanks for joining me today for this tutorial on the Benjamin Moore Color Suite for Revit. It is a powerful new tool that makes the process of selecting colors for your project much easier and efficient. If you have any questions or would like to learn more about this product, you can visit our website to contact a Benjamin Moore representative.